diabetes no more, mm -hmm. that there are three sources that cause diabetes. What are those three sources? Yes, there are probably many more, but you know, some well, of the principles. There are three big ones. Yeah. And uh, one of the most unknown causes of diabetes is actually protein consumption. Protein consumption. Protein, animal protein uh, particularly. So over-consuming protein, which diabetics are supposed to do because right, they think well, avoid carbohydrates, avoid carbohydrates mm -hmm. and uh, they are actually you know, worsening the effect, or they make diabetes permanent, which mm -hmm. is not you know a given. You know, you can reverse diabetes through diet you know quite easily. I had people who were diabetics for 20 years, and I put them on a vegan vegetarian diet, mm -hmm. and within eight weeks they were diabetes free. So it doesn't necessarily mean once you have diabetes, you have to you know you have to live with that. Would that be type two diabetes or type, type two, but not type one? Type one is a, a slightly different story. And that's I mean, genetic. You can, you, yeah, well, we can cover that as well okay. because that is also not a permanent All right. you know, situation. But one of the major sources is too much protein, which doesn't square yeah. at all with trendy diets like the not Atkins diet and the South Beach diet. Not at all. Um, you know, the, the misconception is, you know, we, because we don't study the processes in the body, mm -hmm. we look at the body at a, at a, like a frozen sculpture, and we think it's, you know, this is a fact, and this is how it is. We, like dissecting the body, you don't understand how the body works. You, you don't understand how the eyes influence your bladder. Oh. How would you? Or how the the kidneys are, you know, de 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 determining how you hear. Um, so no, I don't think of those. You know, the, the kidney, you know, the ears look like kidneys. They're shaped. How how have the how much you know, influence the tonsils have ah. on your brain? They are little filters, blood filters. Okay. They filter out toxins, waste products that are not supposed to go into the brain and into your eyes, and into your ears, and into your nose, and into your tongue. So, you know, we, we don't, by looking at the body, you don't understand how all those connections are there. You don't understand how the colon is you know, directly connected uh, through every part of the body, through mm -hmm. colon reflex points. If there's stagnation in the ascending colon, you can get a, a neck ache and a shoulder pain here, and you don't know that it has anything to do with your colon. So again, the, the processes are very important. Now when you eat a lot of these animal proteins, what happens is your insulin uh, secretion will, you will sharply increase. Because anything that is a stimulant, and meat is a, one of the greatest stimulants, mm -hmm. not just of the immune system, but of the pancreas to produce insulin. Right. So you produce 10 times, 20 times, and sometimes 40 times more insulin for in response to eating a steak than eating a, you know, like a half a cup of uh, white sugar. No kidding. Yes. That's... And to process away the protein on the cellular level, you are you're producing a lot more insulin than uh, you, you, you have to dig out so the research steak... to show that. If you had a steak or a half a cup of sugar, mm -hmm. your pancreas would secrete more insulin in response Far to more. the steak. Now, when you do that on a regular basis, um, you will produce so much insulin mm -hmm. that your cells will say, oh, that is dangerous. Because we know your insulin produces cancer. If you make too much, you produce cancer. Now, when, you are, when the cells will recognize you're making too much insulin, which is supposed to take the sugar, into the cells. Right. Now the, ins the cells will shut their doors to insulin, but that means they also shut their doors to the sugar. So no more glucose or not mm -hmm. enough glucose comes in. This is called insulin resistance. Right. And that damages the cells. That's why so many people have amputations, of eyes becoming you know, mm -hmm. blind, or other things are becoming dysfunctional, or their nerves become damaged. So they are basically shutting down the nutrient supply to the cells mm -hmm. by simply the cells trying to save themselves, you know, protect themselves against the insulin that could cause the cancer. So the body says, well, it's better to have a you know, um, you know, dysfunction of some part of the body than have cancer. 
So okay, it's so. again a measure of uh, sequence. So eventually a lot of diabetics get cancer, by the way. So it's, you know, mm. and then heart, they also have cardiovascular disease. Mm -hmm. We can cover that, you know, that okay. basically they're the same diseases. Okay. They are not separate illnesses. But the, the protein is blocking at the same time when you eat too much protein, it will get into the basal membranes of the blood vessel walls. These are first the cap capillaries and then the artery walls. So the protein is a, such an acid-forming thing that it should not stay in the known the connective tissue, the tissue fluid, the, the fluid you know, that mm -hmm. surrounds the cells, mm -hmm. uh, longer than 24 hours because if it did, it can kill you. According to the American Medical Association, there was a study done in 1961. And it showed... It, if you have protein in the connective tissue too long, oh, okay. more than 24 hours, you would die. So that includes plasma protein, which is constantly transferred from the blood to the mm -hmm. connective tissue. Then the lymphatic system is supposed to take it out and put it back in the blood. So it constantly gets recycled, recirculated. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a stagnation in the lymphatic system, and protein foods are the most lymph congesting foods of all, mm -hmm. particularly milk and cheese, they start preventing or they prevent the body to get rid of the, the proteins mm -hmm. that may have come in through those foods or the plasma proteins. So the body now has to convert those proteins into what is known as collagen fiber. And that is built into the basal membranes of the blood vessel wall. That is a membrane that holds the cells of the artery or, or capillary together so that the cells don't just fall apart, you know, and the whole thing, the artery mm -hmm. just disappears. So that membrane becomes thicker and thicker, filling up with these proteins, uh -huh. and then the nutrients can no longer get to the cells. All right. And this is so typical to what I've seen with diabetes and it is a leading cause of diabetes. So too it much protein. Too much protein. So it creates the insulin response and it, dis and it causes the damage to the blood vessels. Okay, number one cause. Mm -hmm.